Stephen Cope struggled to find the right path when he faced a profound personal crisis at midlife. I had a 15-year relationship that, that dissolved, as they sometimes do in midlife. And that was the time when everything was kind of coming apart. I was depressed. I was anxious. I didn't know who I was anymore. And uh, so I decided to take a year off. Cope applied to join the seminary, where he had spent a lot of time in his youth. I was headed in the direction of spending at least a year there in quiet contemplation. And, um, and it would have been wonderful. But his plans changed when a friend invited him to spend a few days at the Kripalu Center for Yoga and Health in Lenox, Massachusetts. I instantly knew this was where I wanted to spend my sabbatical. It's 15 years later and I'm still there. Good, now slow down the in breath Feel it fill from the bottom up. Today, Stephen Cope is a senior teacher and scholar in residence at Kripalu Center. All the way up into upward facing dog, open chest. I was never a, a huge athlete, but I always worked out. I was always a jogger and a cyclist. And so the idea of a spiritual practice that was connected with the body was just very appealing to me. As a psychotherapist, I got very interested in the yoga of transformation because yoga is really an ancient psychology of transformation. A lot of psychotherapy is actually penetrating the false self, is actually uncovering and allowing people to see the ideas they have in their minds about who they should be and then let them go. So to that extent, the work of psychotherapy is not that different from the work of uh, yoga, the kind of transformative spiritual path of yoga. Cope explains that path in a new book called The Wisdom of Yoga, A Seeker's Guide to Extraordinary Living. All wisdom effortlessly reveals itself when the mind settles down. Yoga is simply a way of helping us to settle down and when that happens, this luminous mind comes up and it, it's the guide, it's the buddhi, it's the awake navigator that's inside. In the yogic view, all of life is seen as a pilgrimage toward closer and closer toward the dharma and the calling. Stephen Cope looks to ancient yogic scriptures for advice on how to live fully with passion. First of all, you have to know what your calling is in this life. What's your vocation? What is it that you're called to? Secondly, once you've identified this, do it full out. Hold nothing back. The way to live a passionate life is to do your dharma completely without holding anything back. Thirdly, let go of the outcome. The outcome of your acts, of your acts based on your dharma, are none of your business. Whether you succeed or fail, not your business. What is your business is that you're doing your calling. And then the final one, turn the whole thing over to God. Surrender it all to something bigger than yourself. Whether it's through yoga, faith, or psychotherapy, finding something bigger than ourselves and being authentic is the work of the second half of life. And that's our best service to become who we are.